This morning, the NFL says that Commissioner Roger Goodell will personally hear Tom Brady's appeal of his four-game suspension. The New England Patriots star quarterback was benched after an investigation commissioned by the league. It found that he probably knew that team employees were deflating his footballs. Anna Warner is outside team headquarters at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. Anna, good morning. Good morning, Gail. And that's right, Brady will have to convince the league commissioner himself that he did nothing wrong. He's hoping that his appeal will put him back on the field for week one of the NFL season. I feel like I've always played within the rules. I would never do anything to break the rules. Patriots quarterback Tom Brady insists that he knew nothing about those deflated footballs. But the NFL decided Brady's actions merited suspending him for a quarter of the season, a punishment Brady is now fighting. And the NFL Players Association argues further that given the NFL's history of inconsistency and arbitrary decisions in disciplinary matters, it is only fair that a neutral arbitrator hear this appeal. But that won't be the case. Brady will make his argument to Goodell and top league executives and attorneys. And the NFL says Goodell will make the final decision. Brady is entitled to have his own attorney at the hearing, as well as his agent, members of the players' union, and a union attorney. The appeal will be heard probably early June, so probably two or three weeks from now. Then after that, maybe another week for the decision. Ben Volan covers the NFL and Patriots for the Boston Globe. And it's going to take a lot of convincing uh, to, to get Tom Brady's appeal bumped down from four to anywhere from two to possibly zero games by someone who already handed out the punishment. On Thursday, the Patriots issued a 20,000-word rebuttal to the Wells report, challenging some of the investigation's findings. The Patriots po poked many, many holes in the science of Deflategate, and it's very convincing. The Patriots also attempted to explain the deflator reference in a text between Patriots locker room attendant Jim McNally and equipment assistant John Yastrzemski. The Patriots claim McNally is a larger man and, quote, this banter and Mr. McNally's goal of losing weight meant Mr. McNally was the deflator. There was nothing complicated or sinister about it. It just makes the Patriots look uh, even weaker today. It looks like they're trying to pull one over on the public and they, they think that the public isn't very intelligent. Now, Brady has hired lawyer Jeffrey Kessler to battle here, and Kessler has done this before. He successfully fought the NFL in previous cases. Nora? All right, Anna, thank you very much.